Hey, today we're gonna to do something cool. I often get asked, what's the best way to learn from your customers? Well, just ask them. Google Forms are an extraordinarily common way to collect feedback from a group of people and then do something with it. We'll learn how to export your Google Forms data to Google Sheets, take that information, and use AI models with the plugin Prompt Loop to process it. We'll see how to do that all in 90 seconds. Let's get started. So here we are in Google Forms. Google Forms is the choice number one for surveys for millions because it's just so easy to send and so many people have a Google account. What we're gonna do is take this example survey for product feedback and export the results so that we can look at them in Google Sheets and use a tool called Prompt Loop to analyze them with AI. So here we see we have seven responses. I can navigate here and Google comes up with a helpful, quick, automatic graphs so we can dive into our results. Let's say we want to do something with this. Sort people that are worth reaching out to, high prospects, and relevant based on what they responded. We could just do a basic filter or we could get a little bit more detailed. So you'll see we opened survey results and as a first step on the bottom this purple icon indicates this is a form dump. So what we'll need to do is take this form and then just jump over into a new tab and then I'll just paste these results. So we don't need the timestamp, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. And then the rest, these are five questions that give us an idea of who's filling out the survey, why are they interested, where do they find us, and if they have any questions before getting started. So what we wanna do is take this information and organize it into who is a high or low prospect. So this is one quick analysis. You could also do things like generate outreach, write a short note, or anything else based on all of this survey information what I'm gonna to do to start is I'm gonna be using the extension prompt loop, which lets you use AI formulas like GPT-3 and more to do language modeling so we can understand and transform and generate text inside the spreadsheets. So I'll quickly navigate here. You'll see I have this pop-up. If you don't have it, you can go to add-ons, click get add-ons without leaving sheets, search prompt loop there and get going, but I'm already all set up and there's plenty of free credits to get going and follow along without an account. First, I'm gonna look at the top kind of two or three responses. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna show the model what we want. So we're gonna read each answer. I'm looking for help for my job. So this is a, a higher prospect. We maybe don't care as much of where they heard about us, but we want bigger teams. So this 50 plus team, is gonna be a higher prospect. We want people who need help with their writing. Um, if they say they're not interested, obviously that's like a negative signal. So let's go ahead and, and make this new column interest level. So first, I'm gonna provide my two examples. First one, I'll say high prospect, given it's a, a bigger team and they want help with their job. And this last one, saw an advertisement, our team really needs this. That's gonna be a high prospect too. And then, so what we'll do now is Prompt Loop has three examples to look at. So we're gonna label our input set, which is all of these three survey responses, three rows of surveys, make that an absolute reference F4 and then label our output. So we wrote these outputs. These are our example outputs going into the model, and that's what the model is gonna base its answers off of. We'll label that, and then we're gonna select our new row. So again, this is a formula that will eventually be dropped all the way down, but let's let it load, look at the response. So it told us this is a medium prospect. We can do a quick gut check. The more examples we use, the better the output will be. We're only using three, um, but it's likely to give us a pretty good first glance as a way to stack rank results. So it says medium. This is a one, two person team who saw an advertisement. Looks interesting, wants to try it. That sounds pretty good. What we can do now is take that and just simply drop it all the way down. It's gonna calculate every individual row and then give us a, an output that matches what we want. So like it looked up low prospect. I'm not interested. That's probably a low prospect. So again, this is a very fast way to really dive in and make use of Google form data. I hope this is helpful and look forward to seeing you do it for yourself on your Google Forms, no matter what it is, no matter what the output is. Provide a few examples and then let Prompt Loop and the AI models that power it send the results. Thanks.